Hi. How are you today? This is Pastor Danny Bernales again, welcoming you to our broadcast. May the preaching of the Word of God will bring uh, encouragement and uh, edification to your soul as you watch this uh, video presentation. This is from the Anabaptist Church, and we welcome you for this another series of lessons concerning the prophetic calendar of God. Tonight, I will be bringing a topic entitled, The Judgment Seat of Christ. The Judgment Seat of Christ. You know, I have just discussed the other day about the rapture of the church. The question, after the rapture, what next? Ano ba ang susunod pagkahuman sa gitawag na second coming of Jesus Christ, phase number one? Then this will be our topic, the judgment seat of Christ. First and foremost, before reading the text, that the judgment seat of Christ is not for the unsaved people nor a combination of both the saved and the unsaved. The judgment seat of Christ is only for those who are saved. In fact, those only who went with the rapture, meaning those believers in the church age that has been raptured during the second coming of Jesus Christ. Now in our text here in 2 Corinthians chapter number 5 and verse number 10, let me read the text. It says, For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, and that everyone may receive the things done in his body, according to that he hath done, whether it be good or bad. I want you to notice again that word, we. And Paul was addressing to the believers. That includes himself. We must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ. Now if you go with me here in our chart, we have the rapture of the church. Let's presume that the rapture happened already. Based on 1 Thessalonians 4, 13 to 18, that the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. And here Paul said, Then we which are alive, then we must all appear before the judgment set of Christ. So you have the rapture. And then Christ meet the church in the air. And after that, we will go at the judgment seat of Christ. I call this the judgment of believers for our works. Not for our sin. Because the sin has been already judged by Jesus Christ and forgiven when we repented all our sins during the church age. So now, we will be meeting the Lord and according to 1 Corinthians chapter number 3, 1 Corinthians chapter number 3, as we face Jesus as the judgment of set of Christ, it says here, every man's work shall be made manifest for that they shall declare it because it shall be revealed by fire and the fire shall try every man's work of what sort it is. If any man's work abide which he hath built thereupon, he shall receive a reward. If any man's work shall be burned, he shall suffer loss, but he himself shall be saved yet so as by fire. So the judgment set of Christ is not 
to determine whether you go to heaven or whether you go to hell. The judgment seat of Christ is to determine whether you gain rewards or you lose rewards. That means your life on earth is very important as a Christian because all of your works are recorded by God and when we reach the judgment seat of Christ, all the works will be rewarded by the Lord Jesus Christ. It is classified into two kinds of works according to verse number uh, uh, 16. I'm sorry, go back to verse 13. If every man's work, uh, every man's work shall be made manifest for the day shall declare it because it shall be revealed by fire and the fire shall try every man's work of what sort it is. So there are two sorts of man's work. It is classified into gold, silver, and precious stone. This is the group of works, gold, silver, and precious stones, the group of works that symbolizes works that are good, that are divine work, that are done for the glory of God. That's why they will not be burned. In other words, they will receive our words. Now, the second sort of uh, works, group of works are considered as wood, hay, and stubbles. These are the works that are done in the flesh, works that are not done for the glory of God, works that are, you know, for self-glorification. And that's why we have the wood, hay, and stubble here. In that work here, we have the gold, the silver, and the precious stones. All of these two kinds of sort of works will be judged at the judgment seat of Christ. Now, what happened when we stand before God? God will try our works. According to this verse, every man's work shall be made manifest for that they shall de declare it because it shall be revealed by fire. Now, a lot of confusion on many believers and theologians on this place. It shall be revealed by fire. Meaning the fire will cry every man's work of what sort it is. Meaning the fire will be used by God. Now they said, well that's about judgment in hell. No, it's not. Remember, the fire in the Bible does not only refer to a literal hell. I believe on a literal hell. But in this case, the fire that will cry our work is not about a literal fire. It symbolizes the word of God. Let me prove to you my point here in Jeremiah and chapter number 23. Jeremiah, the book of Jeremiah chapter number 23. It says here, verse number 29, 23 verse 29. Is not my word like as a fire? Huh? That's what the Bible says. God likened the word of God into a fire. What's the purpose of the fire? That's why he uses the two kinds of, of words. The two sorts of words. The, uh, let me go here. The gold, the silver, and precious stone. While here, the wood and hay stable. Now he uses that symbol to try our work and he uses the word fire the fire that refers to the word of god in other words the bible will try all our words all our works will be judged by the word of god did we obey the command of god about prayer for example for example did we obey the lord uh, the command of the lord about soul winning and our life there our soul winning Activity during our life on earth will be judged by the word. Did we obey that? Did we obey about giving? Did we obey about the command of the Bible about, you know, attending church? Not forsaking the assembling of yourselves together. So the word of God is like a fire that will try our works. Whether it be gold, silver, and precious stone, meaning we obey it, we did it for the glory of God, 
or we are unfaithful, it is classified into wood, hay, and stubble. At pag dumaan sa apoy ng Word of God, hindi tayo nakapasa, hindi natin sinunod ang ang command ng Panginoon about prayer, about Bible reading, about soul winning, hindi natin sinunod ang Bible mismo na siyang nilagay ng Panginoon para mag-judge sa atin, hindi natin sinunod ito, then ang ating mga gawa ay mag-judge doon. Now, what happened when we stand before the Lord? Then we have the five crowns that will be given to the believers during the judgment seat of Christ. Kaya nga, kayong mga member, ah, I'm talking to the members of the church, akala nyo yung mga ginagawa ninyo, nakakalimutan ng Panginoon yan, akala nyo rin ma, matunto na to ang ginoo, ah, ah, okay lang na, pastor, wala kabalo, I am doing my part, you do your part, I am trying everything to, you know, make you faithful and fruitful. I am doing everything para ka mo maging faithful kay one day, dili ko gusto nga unya mo atubang mo sa ginoo nga wala mong madawat. Kaya nga naman, naa ang lima ka crowns na ihatag sa ginoo na to. O kining mga crowns nga ni mauni ang ganti sa inyong mga maayong buhat kung kamo nagbuhat diha sa buluhaton sa Ginoo faithful kamo honest ang motive ninyo para sa glory sa Ginoo wala kamo nagbuhat pakitang tao lamang kana mahimo unyang wood hay and stubble kaya importante nga maging faithful kamo di ta maghunahuna don't think that because we will be raptured ah on the second coming of Jesus Christ that's all it takes no the rapture is just the beginning but we will stand before god at the judgment seat of christ anong nawong ang imong iatubang adto anong mukha ang iharap mo sa panginoon ha huh? i always say that the main event is still ahead yes thank god for our blessed hope thank god that christ is coming back again and we i have proven in the word of god last video uh, preaching that we, all of us, whether faithful or unfaithful, as long as you are a true, genuine, saved Christian, you will be with us at the rapture. But the judgment set of Christ is waiting for us. And that's where you will be judged, whether you receive a reward or lose that reward. The five crowns are or will be given by the Lord. The uh, first crown is incorruptible crown. It is the victor's cr uh, crown. The second crown is crown of life. Martyr's crown. The uh, third crown is the crown of glory. That's for the pastor's crown. Uh, the crown of righteousness is for the faithful crown. And then the crown of rejoicing is for the soul winner's crown. Now I will be discussed in the next preaching about the criteria. How will you gain these crowns? Time is limited for me to discuss it one by one here. But always remember, we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ. Ayaw una una, don't think that because you will be with us at the rapture. That's all. No, my friend. The judgment set of Christ will follow. And I used to say this. The judgment set of Christ is not a picnic. Many will weep, will shed tears when you stand before God at that judgment. Will you hear the Lord saying, Well done, thou good and faithful servant. Or you will hear Him say, Thou wicked, and slothful servant. Loss of reward or gain of rewards. Continue to follow our video presentation. Sometime may lockdown kita, I will try my best to preach on prophecy. 
from the rapture down to the end of the age, millennium, and then up to the new heaven and the new earth. Sa mga mimbro, I encourage you to stay faithful. Wala ka nang aning madawat din nga panalangin pag abot dito sa mot pa. Mao nga unta. Maning kamuta. Himuo na tong tanan. Kay kumplito tag doktrina, kumplito tag mga panalangin sa Ginoo. Wala tang rason. And diin may naatang panganduyon unya na makadawata ni aning lima ka corona daghanang muhilak ni anang adlaw sa diha nga wala kang madawat so hinaot pa na ang ginoo magpanalangin nimo this is pastor Danny Bernales again to all our missionaries around the country just keep up the good work fight the good fight of faith I know you're passing all this hardship. We are in a crying times, a very critical and dangerous times, because according to the Bible, before the second coming of Jesus Christ, everything will get worse and worse. But glory to God, before the tribulation period, Christ will come to take all of us into heaven. And of course, we will stand before the judgment seat of Christ. God bless you again. This is Pastor Bernalis.